Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy and today I'm on to do a tutorial. I hope. I haven't done one for a while. <laughs> I was asked to do... Hang on guys, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm better. Um, I was asked to show you how I made the altered file folder that I just um, flipped through the other day. Um, it is a pretty easy and pretty basic, guys. Alright, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty wide, pretty long. Nice little flips and pockets in it. Okay, so you will need a manila folder. And I use these paper clip click paper click paper click ones I think um, pack of 10 is I don't know two or three dollars here in Australia at it was either Big W or Kmart okay so these are these are rather large file folders I think they're actually bigger than A4 much bigger but they're the ones I use so I'll just just to give you a rough idea so that's about 12 and a half inches long and the width folded is nine and a half which is 18 I'd say 18 and a half inches when you opened it up okay now the first thing I'm going to do is just cut the length of um, I'll leave that just there so you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm going to cut the length, which is 7 inches. You can make yours longer or smaller, whatever you like, but 7 inches is a nice, um, a nice size for it. Okay, so we're going to cut that at 7 inches and... Oh, did I cut that properly? Yep. And keep the off cut because we're going to use that for these inside flaps just here. Okay. Right, so we've got that at 7 inches. Now it's just a matter of doing a little bit of scoring. So I've got my scoreboard and I'll just put that over to the side. Okay, now on, where am I? There I am. On my manila folder, they have got two, two marks here, the pre-creased ones or pre-scored ones. I'm going to fold mine up on the outside one and that's going to, that is going to be my one inch spine which is this part here on the altered file folder flip book or whatever you call, want to call them okay so it's going to look like that all right so now we're going to go on the left hand side oh, noisy motorbikes we're going to go on the left hand side we've got our one inch spine here and we're going to score it at three and a half so we've got a three and a half there and then we're going to score at at three and three quarters like that and I will fold this now just to show you so that's going to be our first quarter of an inch spine. You need to make a couple of little spines throughout this just because it can get a little bit bulky when you start to add all your little bits and pieces in there. Okay, alright, so that is, and that's our normal one inch spine there from the folder. So that's going to be our first little flip out. And on my man, uh, manila folder, 
the top corners there are rounded so I'm actually going to just round my bottom ones here just so that it looks a little bit um, symmetrical is that the word <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that is the first flip then we've got that spine there now what I'm going to do because it's too long to just keep it out that way I'm just going to fold that up to this side of my spine my one inch spine and place that right up against that there so that I can keep scoring down this way so then so that's from that one there we're going to go out four inches across here because that's the actual width of my main panels four inches and then we want another quarter of an inch for another little spine just there then this one here has got to be shorter than the four inches so um, I want it maybe one two three so I'm going to do that one at three inches so I'm going to come out to one and one and a quarter is that right one two three yep yeah. so I'm going to come out to seven and a quarter here and score that down so that panel there will be three inches okay then after the seven and a quarter I'm going to put in another quarter of an inch for the other little spine and then I'm just going to leave that panel there which will be roughly about two inches okay so I can fold these ones right, I'll move this might be a bit easier for me okay so that's the back flap and then we've got this one here there and a little quarter of an inch spine okay all right so that's it guys, that's main, that is the base of, that is going to be the base of our little altered file folder. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, I'm just, just for the sake of showing you, that is the front cover that is the back cover and that's a one inch spine okay these ones here will all be folded up like that right so we've got the front the spine and the back so we're going to open it up here and this is the first so that is the back of the front cover just so you know where I'm coming from okay now with this one here that's the back of the front and with this one here I have got a panel coming off here and a panel coming off this side here so we need to cut two more panels to go onto here so I'll grab my scrappy bit of cardboard or the piece left over the off cut and I'm going to cut it at the length which is I want to so the first one is going to be seven inches the first cut and then I'm going to cut the other side over here at seven inches 
because that's the length of our our book right okay and then I'm going to cut them both at four inches right so that's that one and keep these little pieces here because they come in handy for um, for pockets and other little bits and pieces throughout it okay so then I've cut those two at four inches in width and they need to have a little fold so that I can fold them under the decorative paper so that's four inches I'm going to score it at three and a quarter um, because that one is actually three and a half okay so I'm going to score it I might actually score it at three and an eighth that'll give me a, an eighth of an inch playroom okay so that's that one and do the same with this one three and an eighth Oops. okay so this one is going to what did I drop on the floor Wendy something hit my leg oh my pencil <laughs> okay right so this one is going to go alongside the first score line here before before that quarter of an inch spine so that one's going to be placed just along there and then this one here is going to be placed on this side here but I have got rounded edges here so I am going to just round my edges so that it just fits on nice and snugly snugly is that a word snugly and I'll do this one down here as well okay so that is going to be placed just along that edge there and that one's going to be placed there okay so that's more or less the the base of of the of the um, altered file folder okay so we just made this flap here and that flap there now bef the next thing to do is to maybe cut all your decorative papers down which is pretty easy so you can have them you need actually like base papers not with that one um, I'll leave that out actually so you can get a better look at this here so I'm going to start with these two flaps first and decorate them because they get put down underneath this base decorative paper and I want to sew the the paper and everything on them first okay so I'm going to get my decorative papers and cut the panels for for these two here okay for them two that's what I'm going to do now so I have got some papers here that I can use I've got I'm just going to mix and match my papers guys so there's really no theme or whatever to it so all you have to do um, if you don't like measuring that much is just lay your paper down on your base <coughs> And you want to come in about an eighth of an inch in all around so on either side there will be about an eighth of an inch 
and then top to bottom will be about an eighth of an inch as well so I can't see that one properly maybe just about there and you'll need to cut two of them okay two for each panel because you've got a front and a back um, an inside and an outside all right so for the first little panel here I'm going to cut that at it was three and a quarter so I'm going to cut it at three inches okay and I'll cut another one at three inches so that's the width of them and we know that it's seven inches long so why did I cut that one a bit shorter must have been crooked that's okay um, we know it was seven inches long so I'm just going to come down at about six and six and three quarters and cut that there okay so these these are the papers for my first panel I'll just go around and do my edges you don't have to round your edges if you don't want to so that one's going to be placed on there I did cut that a bit crooked but that's okay and this one is going to be placed on that side there okay so I will cut another two for this one I may as well use the same paper I think yep okay so I'll cut that down at seven uh, six and three quarters because it's decorative <coughs> part of me and then cut hopefully I've got enough here at three inches and not enough okay so I will grab just another piece of paper that I've got here the hardest part is working out what paper I want to use but I grabbed a few different ones so I've got this one here which I think I might use because um, on on this one here um, I just left that plain paper and I've got that more or less similar here um, I left that plain I didn't put a pocket or anything on it so you could put a picture or just write on there so I will cut another one like that so I'll cut it at seven at six and three quarters okay and then three inches just there all right so that one is going to go on there like that I think just check this panel yep we can just change the design around a fraction okay so that's going to go on there now with these ones um, I need sorry guys um, All right, I'm going to actually finish these ones first. All right, so what I want to do is grab my ink, my Distress Oxide, and I'm going to just quickly ink around all my edges. 
because I like I like inking. I like that that effect, and I'm going to do it with this as well. So just rub it down there. And I'll fold that one back as well and just ink down that side. And then do this side here. Should I have that different? Maybe have, yeah, I'll have this pattern on the inside, so I'll ink on this side just to make it look a little bit more eclectic, I think. So that's that one, and then this one, do a quick inking. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, so it's not too boring. <laughs> and I don't really have anything else to say. It's just been such a while since I've actually done a tutorial on something so I apologize I'm a little bit out of practice guys okay so that one and I'll have the the spot spotties oops okie doke okay so that's good that's the inking done that one there and just while I'm at it while I've got the ink in my hand I'm just going to ink around the front panel of the folder just so you know where it's going and I fold over and ink down the spines as well okay so I just fold them back the other way all right, so it's going to go on that set, that side there. All right, so I've done that. Now let's put these together. Um, you're going to have one, one on this side and one on that side. So just remember, uh, I might put that one on there and that one over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this. Mm -hmm. Right, for this one here, I had a pocket, so this one here, oh that's nice, I like that one there, I have this little pocket just there, so we need to do that pocket first, and I want to keep that actually plain, so... Yep, I might swap those over. So that's going to go on the inside and this one's going to go there. So we're just going to make one of those little pockets. I have got a few other um, off-cut off pieces here, which I think I might use that one actually. That'll go okay with that. So this piece of cut is, it's about six and three quarter inches long by about two and a quarter inches wide. So I don't really want it that long. So I'm going to snip, I wonder if I can snip it without <laughs> going crooked. Um, I know what I can do, I can just put a measure there, can't I? Line that up along there. So just let me see how long I want it. Mm, that'll do I think. So I'm going to cut about half an inch off this. Alright, so I'm just using that piece of manila folder as a guide. I've got it straight up here and just cut straight down there. Okay, so now this piece here measures uh, six and one, two, three eighths by 
two and a quarter inches wide and we're doing this little piece here now all I'm going to do is just fold that over and just kind of like pinch down this top side here and I'm going to put in like a little inverted tab right so all I'm going to do is come up then go round then go around that way and go straight and snip that right along the centre there right along the middle how'd I go oh that's all right it's a little bit wider than the one that I've got here but that's um, roughly how I did that one okay I just didn't cut it as wide but that's all right so I'll leave that put a bit of ink around this one so this is going to be used as a little tuck spot on that one just there okay now on this one here I have sewn that in but before I've sewn so you can either sew or you can glue all right but before I've sewn it on to this decorative paper I have added a little bit of lace down the side here which I am going to do again I will just go and grab my and lace. I brought my other stuff over to ink my other lacy bits over. May as well have it all over here near me where I am. Okay, so I've got a, a little bit of lace here and wait till the siren goes. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of lace down the side here, cut that cut that about there right okay so that's going to go there I need a smidgen of glue to hold it on there and I'll use this wet glue so just going to just put a, enough glue on there just to mainly tack it down so it won't move um, I might bring it out a little bit okay does that look straight Wendy yes it does that'll do push that up a bit and then this one here is going to go on there like that so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put um, maybe a dot a couple of dots just to hold this on because I am going to be sewing okay so let's just make sure that looks even there alright and I'll just press that down so the next thing with this is that I'm going to sew with my machine I'm going to sew this pocket on just around like that okay right. I just waited until that siren went too alright so I think I just said I'm going to stitch this pocket on with my sewing machine and I'm going to do that before I actually place this pattern decorative piece on that there okay um, so I've got to let that dry that glue dry just for a minute so with this one here that's that side and then you turn it over like that and I have got this piece just there that's going to go on that now um, so that's this side with the pocket we've just done now on this side here I had a little decorative 
um, pocket just here which I think I still might do pardon me um, so I might while I'm actually waiting for this one here to dry a tad bit more um, I'm going to get a piece of paper um, let's have a look maybe this one that's not quite wide enough okay this one here let's use that one there so we're going to put a, just a, a pocket corner down here and the pocket corner is actually three and a half inches high and then you want it just so that it's a nice width in here so it'll be two and three quarters let me measure that one you see that one's actually three but I think mine's just a little bit shorter um, a little bit uh, less in the width but that's okay so okay two 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 inches two and three quarter inches but yeah okay two and three quarter inches so I'll just cut this one uh, what did I say it was in height sorry guys about three and a half okay so I've just got a, a scrap piece of paper here I actually might leave that pattern there on the bottom of that that's um, the other side of the brand name okay so we'll do the width first which is two maybe just there two and three quarters okay and I'm going to I won't cut that just yet I've got some decorative scissors that I'm going to use uh, you, you, if you haven't got decorative scissors that's okay you can just use your plain ones no not those ones uh, here they are these ones here that just gives puts like a little scalloped edge along there so what I'm going to do mark where the three and a half inches is which is oh don't lose that one that's waiting for that to dry three and a half is just up there and I think I want to leave that I want to leave a um, about there a little um, oh, what am I saying I want to leave a little edge there <laughs> okay and I've marked up about an inch on this side and I've marked up to three and a half inches there so what I'm going to do is just I was just going to do it ha um, freestyle I've just got my pencil and I'm just going to put like a a little curve like a little arch up that way so just just gives me a bit of a guideline and then I'm just going to snip up there with my scissors and hopefully it will look okay okay all right that wasn't too bad okay so that's that's going to be my little pocket just down here I might need a rubber because I can see the um, that pencil mark that I had there so I'll just rub that out a bit okay and grab my ink and just go around this okay so what I'm going to do now is just tack this one on here so that's going to be my pocket on this side and just going to use a little bit of glue and just put a couple of little tacky spots on there 
okay just so that I can hold it on to this side here because I am I'm like prepping all this before I actually sew okay because then I'll only need to really sew it around once all right okay so that's going to go there that's my pocket that's all ready so I can tack this decorative panel down on there and I'll just use my this one look at this I need something to wipe around that I think so I'm going to just put some I'm not going right to the edge because I'm going to use the sewing machine so I'm just going to put that down there okay that looks about right nice little edgy border around there so that's that side and this side is where this one is going to go but I'm not going to tack that decorative piece down until I use my machine and stitch around there which I think I'll be able to do now because um, <coughs> it should be dry enough all right um, yeah I'll do that now guys okay um, I'll do that off camera and I'll come okay, back guys I am back um, that's my sewing machine cord I, uh, I'll just leave it there I, I put it around this way instead of threading it around the back okay so what I've just done is I have so um, machine stitched my pocket on here okay so that's that's all nicely machine stitched around there oops and I'm now ready to put this one on here which is the other side of that there so I'm going to get my glue glue stick and just spread some glue over that and I'm not going right up to the edge right and just make sure I've got that up the right way okay and I'm going to place that on this side of my panel just make sure I get that nice and even okay press that down um, so what I'm going to do now now that I've glued that one down and that side down and I've stitched on my pocket I'm going to use my machine and stitch right around the outside going through the front to the back okay so I shall be back in a second guys I've stitched all around that and you can see that I've also caught it on the other side so you've got to really make sure that your decorative panels are exactly the same uh, size and then when you s use your machine you go in about an eighth of an inch on this side and then you're you're not going to miss it on the other side okay you're going to catch that as well so that's the first panel for this front inside one which is going to be placed right there okay so that's that front front inside panel there now we're going to work on this one which is the panel on the opposite side okay so I'll just leave that up there because that one is done so far and the panel on the other side is this one here where I've left um, rather plain one there I suppose I could use I could cut another piece and have that plain but I will just I'll just keep going with these ones here all right so let me think we've got our pockets here so on the inside I might I might use that one no I, look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut another one just like this sorry guys am I mucking you around too much 
Okay, so um, I might use this side here. So I need to cut that the same width as that. Okay, pencil. Right, I'll just cut that one down quickly. I've just changed my mind. I'm so sorry, but I just I really like that having the the um, plain lined paper on that side there. All right, so I quickly go and do the edges. Like you can use any decorative paper you like. This is just me. So that is going to go on there. And I'm going to leave that plain like this one here. Oh, we put a butterfly on there or something. And I've got like a little word down there. But they're the last decorating. Um, that's the last of the decorating that you do these little pieces here. Alright, so what I can do, I have got some lace down underneath that one as well. So I'll grab my lace again. I'll move that out of the road. Sorry guys. Right. So I'm just going to cut another little length of lace here. And just put a little bit of glue there to just to mainly tack it down. So I might have that one out just a fraction more than the last one. Okay. And, and I can actually glue this one down straight down onto the base panel now so that's going to be glued straight down onto there making sure that you don't go anywhere near your fold okay because you don't want it to obstruct that was the word I was looking for the other day. I kept saying construct. <laughs> you don't want it to obstruct your fold. Okay. Alright. So that's that. And then on this side here. We have this really cool. Little. Um, pocket. Type thing. So. Um, I've got that one there. I've got that. Or I've got that. And I'm just having a look to see that's going to be on that side. So I might use that one there as my base. Mm, or maybe that one. I use that one as my base. Yeah, that would be alright. Mix it up a bit. Okay, now this one here. Um, is going to be the base decorative paper. Alright, so I'm just going to put that up there for the time being. Now what we need to do is just to make a, a little pocket on here. So I'm thinking I may have a piece of manila folder and I don't. Um, yes, I do this one here. I don't need that on there. Alright. Okay, so I've got a piece of manila folder and is that um I'm gonna cut that down to seven make sure it's just under seven inches, okay, so it'll fit for my length. So that is 
Oh, it's around about seven inches. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm going to cut it down to about six and three quarters. Okay. And the width of it is going to be cut at about two and two and a quarter okay okay so we need a piece of manila folder or cardboard that's cut at six and three quarters and two and a quarter so that is going to sit on there like that and I'm going to round my edges just over here on this side okay so that's going to go on there like that and before I sew that on I'm going to sew a decorative piece of paper on so I'm going to use this one because remember I changed my oh I should use another piece of that shouldn't I yep why not okay so I'm going to decorate this I'm going to cut those edges out there I mean round the corners out there and I'm going to use this line paper to decorate um, that's a bit too long isn't it All right okay so I'm going to use this line paper to decorate the front of my pocket okay so I want that cut about there and I want that to be cut about there. All right. So I'm just cutting this down so that it's about an eighth of an inch shorter or smaller. So where was that one? Just above one and about there. So I need to just round that corner again. Okay. Alright, so that is going to fit on there with about an eighth of an inch border. Okay, so just quickly And I like having those lined papers there because, you know, sometimes all, with all these pockets and flips and everything, um, it does, it can become a bit too much. And just to have like a plain lined piece of paper there, it's pretty cool, you know, something a little bit different, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go to my sewing machine. Um, I can just tack that down so just put a bit of glue there and tack that down onto here making sure I've got it straight I'll tack it down a bit too much first just let me straighten that up there okay that looks better and I'm going to stitch down just this side here of my pocket. I okay. have stitched down that side of where is my hmm um that's that one. Where's my other one? Oh my god did I just oh there it is there <laughs> sorry guys oh I thought I just cut up my um my flap but I haven't okay <laughs> oh my goodness Right, so we've got that one there and I've glued that down there. Um, I don't need that. Get that out of my road. It's got me, getting me confused. Now, on this side here is where our pocket is. So that is going to be placed on there like that. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, that had me worried then. And what we're going to do with this one, I want a bit of decorative paper there. So what I think I might do is, let me see this, place that decorative paper down there and then put that on there like that. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Now, um, before I go and tack it down and sew around the outsides, I'm just going to take it to my machine. I'll level that up. And I'm actually going to sew just straight down the middle, um, just once, so that I end up with two pockets. Okay, so I shall do that. <coughs> and I'm just like roughly eyeballing it. Okay, I stitched roughly down the center across that way. So I will have end up with a pocket up here and a pocket down there. So now what I want to do is tack that completely down on there. Right, so I'll get my my glue here. Right, it's a bit too much, but that's okay. Oh, and turn it up this way because I want the pockets that way, and place that on here. Okay, that looks good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch right around the outside here. But I am actually going to come up just about a quarter of an inch here so that I can grab that end of the pocket. And then stitch up here around on the pocket and stitch down about a quarter of an inch there. Okay, so I shall be back guys. And by doing that, I will catch that back one as well. Okay, so won't be second. Thank you, doke. All done, guys. And put the lid back there. Right, so I will have a lovely little pocket there. And a lovely little pocket there. And then that opens over to this side. Oh, I better cut my strands off. And then I've, and I can tell that I've caught, oh, I've just caught all the stitching around this side and around there. Okay. So that's the other side of that panel. So that's this panel here. And we've done that panel there. So now we need to join these two panels together for that base one there. So